Hey guys, welcome to Infernal Ascent, a two-player game where one player uses the keyboard to climb up the hole that this character has found himself in, and the other player uses the mouse to keep the player from going up, therefore having the character be burnt by the everlasting lava. Since we got some feedback from our families, we knew that we had to make a tutorial about this game. Even though we have a tutorial in the game, we forgot to explain a few things to the audience. You could play the game on your own actually, the player is optional, but ask yourself this question, who wouldn't want to mess around with their friends? Here are the controls for the player with the keyboard. Use the WASD keys to move. You could use the arrow keys, but since we made the game in a certain kind of way, we recommend that you should use anything but the right side of the keyboard. Press the spacebar to jump. Use the buttons 1, 2, and 3 to use the hotbar to select either to your pickaxe, rope, or bombs. Once you find the item that you want to use, press P to use the highlighted item in the hotbar. Press 1 to choose the pickaxe. The pickaxe allows you to dig through the rock either sideways or upwards. Press P to dig either left or right, depending on where you're facing. And press P while holding W to dig upwards. Press 2 to choose the rope. The rope allows you to climb the rope to go to new heights that you once couldn't reach. Press P to throw the rope upwards. If the rope sticks to something, the rope extends down to you, allowing you to climb it. Press and hold W to climb the rope. Press 3 to use the bombs. Even though this is kind of useless on easy mode, we recommend you to use this item on medium or harder. Press P to place a bomb down on the ground. The bomb only has a few seconds before it blows up and it can break the ground below you so watch where you're standing. Please be aware that you only have a limited amount of rope and bombs, so you should quickly strategize on whether you should use these items or not. You can find extra rope and bombs spawning throughout the map, so whenever you run out, you won't be in too much trouble. Here are the controls for the player that's using the mouse. Use the left mouse button, or better known as the left click, to place the blocks in the spot that the cursor is currently hovering over. Or, if you click on a block that already exists, you can upgrade the tier of that block. There are four tiers of blocks in the game. Dirt, Stone, Obsidian, and Meteorite, in that order. Each tier will be harder to break than the last. The Meteorite, however, is the only tier that the keyboard player can't break with this pickaxe alone. The keyboard player has to use bombs in order to break the Meteorite. The hotbar on the top right corner of the screen is how many blocks you have left. You'll get more blocks over time, but you can only have up to 5 blocks at a time, so be aware of that. There's one more thing that I need to tell you about before you start the game. Power-ups. The sparkling pickaxe makes you stronger, allowing you to break stone or obsidian much faster than you could before. The energy boots makes you feel lighter, allowing you to jump higher by 2 blocks. Personally, this is my favorite power-up, and if you find this beauty right here, you will have unlimited resources for a certain amount of time. You don't have to worry about running out of rope for a minute anymore. Now finally, chests. Chests can hold a bunch of stuff. Power-ups, items, you name it. It'll give you a hefty chunk of it too. Press O to open the chest and to pick up rope and the bombs. I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, I should have told you that before we started talking about power-ups. Now that you know how to play the game, have fun! Just in case if you're watching this straight from YouTube, you can play the game using the link in the description. Alright guys, thank you for watching the tutorial, and until next time guys, I'll see you later with the speed paint. For the Sonic movie, which I didn't do for a week.